on Sunday, in the start of our trip, we had to go to the airport. So we took our car and left at 11.30 and we took one hour to go to a park, a place where you can drop off your car. Then we took a 20 minutes bus ride to Luton Airport. We were a bit too early but after a few hours we went to check in and through the security. Due to security, I had to wait a few minutes to get my shoes back, which was annoying. And then we got on the plane, which took us to Northern Ireland. The flight took about one hour. When we got there, it was cold to say the least. We then went over to the house of my father's friend. At 11am, we decided to go outside and go see the sights. It took us one hour and nine minutes to go to our destination, also a few more minutes due to traffic. The first place we visited was Castle Rock Beach, where we played in the sand but only for a few minutes. Then we went to a place called Mussenden Temple. It had lots of walking and historical sites. When driving through the gate, you can see a cottage to your left, and straight forwards is ruins of Downhill de Mesne, a mansion of sorts. Through the entrance of the ruins, there is a long walkway, and at the end you can see the Musandan Temple. Walking into the temple, there are three windows to the left, right and front and looking through each of them, you are greeted with a different but lovely view of the sea and the coastal area below you. Second part of the day, we headed to Giant's Causeway. After walking downhill towards the coastline, you are greeted with peculiar looking rock formations. These are the rock formations of Giant's Causeway, and they are 40,000 interlocking basalt columns, the result of an ancient volcanic fissure eruption. Going uphill, we go back home. On the way back, we had some KFC, and we also took some Chinese takeaway. The next day, we went to Karikaridi Rope Bridge. There was a bit of walking involved, and though it was only a few miles, there was ups and downs that made the walk rough. When we got there, we saw the bridge was a traditional rope bridge, suspended over a beach, and the bridge leaded to a small island cliffside. The day was cold and foggy with a bit of rain. The weather made it twice as scary to cross the bridge, but we managed. Feeling tired, we went back to the car, where we had our snacks and headed to a beach at Port Rush. We had fun running around and playing in the sea, though I did get drenched. Unfortunately, there were no changing rooms, so I had to change outside in public. But well, we got back to the place where we were staying eventually. This day we went to the Titanic Museum in Belfast, where there were interesting informations about the Titanic. When we got our tickets, we then went outside and went on the last remaining boats of the White Star Line, the SS Nomadic the same boat manufacturer of the Titanic. It showed us the inner workings and what the workers did on the boats. The actual museum was massive and filled to the brim with little attraction rides, movie halls and information. We also got to see the place where the Titanic was built. There was so much to see in the museum with videos, exhibitions and even a cable car ride. Sadly, we did not get to experience all of these. 
When we got back, there was a barbecue and the weather was perfect, as it was nice and sunny. And sadly comes the end of the day. On our last day, we left in the morning at 8, and we boarded the plane shortly after. We arrived at 11.30, and we were all very tired due to minor jet lag. So some of us slept it off, and that was our trip. Oh, wow. 